So I've been running these tag handlebars for a few weeks now, probably a month. I love them. It's got a nice subtle look, you know, the silver kind of matches the way the code is, more or less identical to the code. You got killer little incremental adjustments, which, oops, in conjunction with the Bontrager stem is perfect. You got some notches on the stem so you can line everything up. You've got alignment etchings around the bar here for your brake setup or your, your gear setup, your, your dropper setup, all of that stuff. And you've also got etchings that run along the length of the bar so you can get your brake, your, your dropper, everything in the same spot as it always is. You, know, you set it up, find a sweet spot, find what you're comfortable with, take a photo of it and you've always got that reference to get it in the exact same spot every time. Five degree up, seven degree back sweep. Identical to what the rentals have, which are always used to be my go-to bar. The black rental, black alloy rental has white and red writing on it, which I don't really like. Kind of makes it look a bit tacky. These are much more subtle, so I'm happy with that. Uh, identical sweep, feel the same, feel strong. Moto background, so they're probably reliable. I don't know yet, you know, long term will tell. Uh, you know I don't like running carbon bars for the risk of snapping and you got to clamp this stuff up tight And when you clamp plastic really tight it weakens it. So I'm not into that same with the grips some grips You got to do real tight for them to not slip and quite often That's where carbon bars break on the grip or on the on the brake caliper clamp Alloy bar they're not overly heavy I'm not too sure to be honest how much they weigh, but they don't seem heavy They don't seem any different to the Bontrager that I've got the Bontrager sweep was a nine degree back sweep and four degree up sweep, which, yeah, you, you roll it into the right spot and it'll feel at home. Any any bar, any sweep, you just roll it differently to, to get the same feel as, your, as you've been hunting for with your previous bar or whatever you like. So the bar sweep wasn't an issue with the Bontrager, but what I found when I put these on is the Bontrager bar is really, really soft. It's quite flexible and quite compliant, I guess. Whereas this is way more direct. If the steering's more direct, it's quicker. Uh, which also means a little bit more feedback. You get a little bit more feedback through the bars. But to me, not really to a detriment. I think the benefit you get from having a more direct front end outweighs the little bit less compliance you get out of, a, out of the firmer, more direct bar. So tag metals... I'm impressed, I'm happy with them. They're definitely my go-to bar now. And uh, yeah, Whippets Workshop, thank you. They were $114.99, I think, retail. I got a couple of bucks off them. So, but I'd pay full price, absolutely, in a heartbeat. These are killer. Come in 800 wide, like I said. Cut them down 760. I've cut these down to 760. And then with the grip, they roll out to about 770, which is a little bit longer than I usually run. I usually cut my bars to 750 and let the grips hang out to 760. But is what it is, the bike's a bit bigger and longer, so it feels comfortable, it feels good. The bike feels killer, the coil feels good, the brakes are good. I got the XT brakes. I'm gonna do a video on that in a minute because uh, I've got some, got some thoughts on it. The XT rotors. So I've got SRAM code brakes with XT rotors. So we'll address that as well in a minute.